Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're making pierogies and sauerkraut. This is a Polish dish and it was amazing. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a video. And I'm going to list all the ingredients down below and let's get started. First, you're going to go ahead and cut and peel your potatoes. And then after that, you're just going to cut them into small pieces. After they are cut, we're going to go ahead and put the potatoes into boiling water for about 15 minutes. After that, we're just going to go ahead and cut a few slices of onions. She cut about two to three slices. And then after that, she's going to cut them into smaller sections and dice them up. Next, we're going to take a small pan onto medium heat, and then we're going to add some olive oil on there. And then we're going to go ahead and put the onions in there, and you're going to go ahead and let them caramelize. And once they start to look like this, it's ready, and you can pull it off the stove. After that, your potatoes should be just about done. A quick way to see if your potatoes are done, you can put a fork into it, and if it goes in easily, your potatoes are done. Once she removes the potatoes from the pot, she's going to go ahead and put it in a bowl and then she's going to let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes. Then next we're going to do the dough. We're going to go ahead and put in four cups of flour. And then you're going to go ahead and crack two eggs into the bowl. And then you're going to need one cup of distilled water. And then you're going to add a heaping amount of salt. And then you're going to go ahead and use your hand and mix everything together. People usually use utensils, but the best way to get it is using your hand. And also, don't mind Candace's hand. She got burnt a few days ago and it left a nasty scar. After a few moments, your dough should start to look like this. And then she's going to add a small amount of flour onto the counter or chopping board. The reason why you want to put flour down is it makes it so much easier to work with the dough. If not, it does cling to everything and it is very hard to deal with. Next, she's going to go ahead and cut the dough into four pieces. And then she's going to separate them and then put them in saran wrap. Then once you separate the dough and put them in their own saran wrap, you're gonna go ahead and let them sit for about 30 minutes. After about 30 minutes, your potatoes should be cooled down, so you're gonna go ahead and add your caramelized onions into the bowl. Then you're gonna go ahead and add some sour cream. She added about two spoonfuls of sour cream. And then you're going to go ahead and add some chopped green onions. And then she's just going to add a little bit of sharp cheddar cheese. This is totally up to you how much cheese you would want. And then you're going to go ahead and take your masher tool and mash until it becomes one. Once it starts to look like this, you are just about ready to start adding your extra ingredients. So we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit more of sour cream. And then you're just gonna mix that together. And then we're gonna go ahead and add some onion salt. She also recommends that you add salt as well. Totally up to you. After everything's mashed together, you're gonna go ahead and let it sit in the fridge. Also, she did not put this down, but she forgot to add flour in there. It was still manageable, but you still want to add flour onto your countertop or your cutting board. Next, we're 
next you're just going to go ahead and take a cup and gently press down on the dough and it makes a perfect circle if you have a circle cutter you can use that as well but nonetheless a cup works just as well too after your mashed potato mix has been sitting in the fridge you're going to go ahead and take a few pieces and ball them up into balls and then you're going to take your dough and put the mashed potatoes mix in with the dough and then you're going to go ahead and just press down on the outer areas don't make them too big and don't make them too small they're like super similar to making a dumpling as well this is what they should look like all together after that you're gonna go ahead and put your pierogies in boiling water yes boiling water i was so confused when she was putting boiling water i thought you'd fry them but you boil them first and then you fry them after they sit in the pot for about three to four minutes, once they start to flow to the top, that's how you know they're ready to be coming out. Next, you're gonna need a pan with butter and oil, and then we're gonna go ahead and add our pierogies and fry them. With your pan on medium high heat, you're gonna go ahead and fry each side for two minutes. After about two minutes, you can go ahead and flip to the other side and you can see it's starting to brown. And then you're gonna use the rest of the onions and then you're gonna put some butter on medium high heat and then you're gonna go ahead and add the pierogies into the pan as well. Then you just let it sit in the pan. There's no more need to cook it. It just goes really well with pierogies. Just turn off the heat and it is ready to go. I'm gonna add in the shorts of how this was plated. She also added sausage as well, which goes super well with pierogies. If you guys like to see more videos, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.